Hi, folks. This is Michelle Chatterchick Love from Ace Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical Supply. Join me and my co-host Chuck Shazer from 11 a.m. to 12 noon and every fourth Saturday of the month, while we try to ace your space. We're going to share with you some helpful hints that will improve the quality of any room or project that you are currently working on. Also, we're going to have just a little bit of fun. Join me for Ace Your Space, coming to you from Ace Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical Supply. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another exciting edition of Ace Your Space. And now, here is your host, Michelle Chatterjick Lowe. Yay! Wait a minute. Here we go. Well, hello, everybody. Hello. Ooh. Hello, how are you? How is Chuck Shazer? Chuck Shoulders Shazer. I'm doing great. However, I'm going to suggest something for the opening here. Yeah. Future. Mm. We are going to uh, be doing some video. For the next show, right? I so, think we are. I think you and I might be doing that. Um, I did talk to uh, Mr. JS today, yeah. and you and I will continue that conversation because I'm not sure yet. Who knows? I may be able to go live. Oh, boy. I may be able to do that. Um, we'll see. If not, continue what you were saying because we are going to do the videos for the future. Well, as, uh, as you mentioned to me that you're going to create. Hmm. Well, you could, like Ellen dances, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, I, I don't think song would be great to dance to, would it not? You know what? I have customers already dancing on file. I have customers. If you remember, do you remember that? Oh yeah. We have customers that are so happy to be with. By the way, by the way, before we even get started, let me welcome everyone to the twenty seventh hour of Asia Space with my co-host, Mr. Chuck Shazer, and our sponsor is Go ahead, Chuck. Ace Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical Supplies. Serving South Jersey since 1950 on our 70th year. You get all your plumbing, heating, electrical supplies at Ace. And also, things for your home to improve your space. Lighting. Mm-hmm. Toilet, we are flowers, yours. Mm-hmm. Faucets, faucets, everything. Stop in at Ace. And that's, we're, we're brought to you by Ace Plumbing right here. We could be hours if we named everything that oh, Ace would yeah. supply for everybody. Right? Yeah, uh, we would be hours. We are your essential one stop. Store. We are definitely your. It's. It's. We are your simple solution supply store. Get those S's out. Whoa. Yeah, and even if you need sanitation items. That's what. Oh, I didn't get the sanitation in there. Simple sanitation, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Solution store. Yeah. Whether it's masks or hand sanitizer or soap or. And we have it all for you. Oh my goodness! That Ace Co. Porta Wash with. Uh, the Ace Co. Porta Wash. Forget about it. It's. That's phenomenal. I feel like people are trying to make copies of that. Well, they may, but as far as I can see out there, as far as hand-washing solutions that are portable, this is still number one. It is number one. Uh, you know, that Ace Co., <laughs> that's a pretty cool little uh, deal there, isn't it, Chuck? Where you could just you could just pull it around wherever you go. It's not heavy. Well, you, you've sig- actually interacted with it. Yeah, it's very significant today because, you know, people are we're, we're trying to reopen the economy, and we're, we're, we're heading there. We're heading in, the, in that direction as a country. And I think one way to do that, and you've seen this, is by being extremely careful with how you proceed with that, right? Uh, so I, the yeah. Thing, the hand washing. So the Ace Code Portal Wash makes it very easy to set up a hand washing station regardless of where you are. So you look at up outside. If you have an outdoor event, you, you know, you see these, a lot of restaurants are, you have these pop-up tents everywhere, right? There's a new, there's, I, I was talking to one of the reps from, uh, from an advertising agency during the week, and I was also talking to uh, Marie from SNJ during the week. And as, you know, we're all talking, and I realized that dining out has a new spin on it now, doesn't it? Literally. It does, yeah. yeah, absolutely. I, I said that, but I'm like, wow, dining out literally is dining out. I mean, yeah. why not have an Ace Co. right there? Yeah, I mean, you need. It's very important. I mean, obviously, in the food service business, to keep your hands clean, of course. But also, as a, from a consumer point of view, if you if you touch a chair or whatever, you're, do you want to wash your hands before you eat? 
So happy it's right birthday. there. And, and, you know, Chuck, not to interrupt like I, I know I do because I get excited about things like when the thought gets there. But um, it's actually kind of reasonable even for residential folks. Like I don't want people to think, ah, oh, we just sell things for the contractors. I mean, truly, if somebody was having a party outside and they're doing their social distance, and yeah. you, you know, um, of course, you don't have to wear a mask if you're outside doing the social distance. But they could ha nobody has to go in your house to wash their hands. You know what I mean? Like it's right there. And. I just think it's a nice little thing to have, an ASCO and a generator. <laughs> I think you'd ha I think you'd be okay. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, and of course we'll talk about generators later. But I just thought um, those two items together will, will definitely keep you clean and keep you running all at the same time. You know, what's nice about the ASCO portal wash being portable is in fact that if you have, if, if you're using it for a residence, if you're having an outdoor get together, it's not a permanent fixture on your property. You know, it's not like you're, you're setting something up and it has to stay there. Because you could roll it into your garage for the winter, correct? Or Away for the winter. You can, and you can put it wherever you need it at the current time. Because let's face it, how nice is it to be able to say, hey, you know, today I, need, I want that sink over here. But maybe we're going to set up on this, kind of in a different way next time. So we might want the sink over there. <laughs> a friend of mine wants the port of sink. I say port of sink so they know Ace Coast the port of sink, right? She wants to uh, put one out by her garden. Like where she does all her garden work. Yeah, yeah. That's Marie. She would like to have one right out there. She's been showing her husband to see if he can forte what JS created. <laughs> yeah, because you know you don't have you need hot water to kill the germs, right? To adequately wash your hands. So hmm. with, you really do, especially right now. There's a big hot water is essential right now. Very essential for the germs. It comes with a tankless uh, water heater. So, which is really awesome. It has a tempering valve on it, so you're not going to burn yourself. It's set up safely. And it has, the, uh, of course, the hand pump in the back for the soap. It's on all in one unit. It actually even has a mounted uh, paper towel dispenser. So which cool. is so cool. And all you do is it's a like on a dolly, right? So, so yeah. women can use it. I, I, I know I always say that, but we don't want to lift anything heavy. So we, and we try to get things that we don't need shoulders for, you know? <laughs> <laughs> a man, you know what I mean? So we have to do things on our end. This is perfect. Because, you, you know, I've, I've, I've actually been able to roll it myself. So if I can do it, the girl that's not allowed to live more than 10 pounds, um, anybody can, can roll it because it's not heavy. No, it's not heavy. It's, it's nice and narrow. It's so perfect it's for really small business, path. and it's perfect for the job sites, for, for construction. I know I keep saying residential. But because I, I just want the residential folks to know that this here is a, a great solution for them if they want to have that party, you know, for, the, for their child in the summer. Um, and you don't have a swimming pool or anything like that. Get, get their hands washed outside. Mm -hmm. You know, because their hands are everywhere and their nose, wherever they're going, these kids get their hands washed. It's very easy. That's right. Very, very easy. And it was featured on NBC 10 News. What about that? NBC 10 News, actually, yeah. Somebody, and nobody from our company, somebody in Vineland, I found out, um, ran into the news, which actually here. So they told them what we were doing. They're like, oh, we have to go over there because it was the first, the first of its kind. Mm -hmm. You know, and, of course, Ace comes out with that. Uh, I think Mr. J.S. was a great designer on that deal. I spoke to Mr. J.S. this morning, Chuck. How's he doing? Mr. J.S., didn't recognize my voice. Oh. Had no idea I even worked for Ace Plumbing, wow. Heating, and Electrical Supplies any longer. <laughs> but, you know, I was like, hi, remember me? Uh, so um, I had to remind him, the girl you hired over four years ago. He said, yep, yep, he barely remembers. Um, he, they're doing well. They're very busy. Uh, they're very busy because they are essential. And um, there's a lot of, um, apparently, um, the articles that I've been seeing, there's a lot of, uh, with all this rain going on, by the way, by the way, since there has been so much rain, I do want to ask the audience, if anybody has a good, wet, soggy story to share with us, okay, to give us a call, 856-696-0092, any soggy, wet, rainy stories, I want to hear about them. You never know. I mean, I had a lot of water in my yard through this rain. So right away, I think sub pumps, you know, right away. It wasn't, I'm not necessarily saying it was draining into anything, but there was a nice puddle out there. So, and there's been more than one because we've had an immense amount of rain, which, by the way, brought me to articles of damaged pipes. Yes. Damaged yep. pipes. I never realized, Chuck. 
Yeah, and if you have a little bit of water, like if you don't necessarily need a sump pump solution, we have what they call puddle suckers. So that'll help you if you have... Sounds like a puddle. Chinese menu. If the puddle is not, <laughs> or it should not be... I'll take number 69 puddle suckers, please. Right? <laughs> yeah, we got... We take care of everything home-related, that's for sure. The puddle suckers now, do you know, I don't know, I've never heard of our puddle suckers. Really? No. Never heard of them? No. Um, Yes, I still work for Ace Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical Supplies. (laughs) It's, well, you know, the sump pump can take care of a very big uh, situation. Right. If you have a lot of water in the basement, and you've got to get that out. And the sump pump's there, and a lot of them have a float, so they'll come automatically. If you have, let's say you're away and, and the pipe bursts, something happens, and you have a lot, quite a bit of water in the basement, that'll take care of that automatically. Well, the puddle suckers are more or less, you know, you, you, you take them out when you need them. And, and you know, I, I, we've had a ton of rain, but uh, a little bird told me yesterday that uh, I think you had a vacation day, and yeah. I heard, and that what a beautiful day, I heard that you were out of the area. So where did you go and enjoy this day, Mr. Shazer? Yesterday, I took off, and I actually took off. I didn't do yard work or anything like that. Like you actually played. You actually right. had a play day with, with, with your family. Yeah, so we went to Pete May, which will always have a special place in my heart because I proposed to my wife there. Oh, I just got chills because I remember. Oh, I just got goosebumps. I do remember that. Oh, I remember the picture. I remember when it got. Oh, God. Beautiful. <laughs> Love, love, really, everybody. We love, love at East. Really great. I hired a private uh, photographer to follow us around that night to capture the, the surprise. And she had no idea. She just thought you were. <laughs> she, yeah, I really, I fooled her because during dinner I, that night I gave her a, a present, which she thought was going to be the ring. <laughs> it off completely. It was like a, it was a cheap necklace. Oh. <laughs> like completely took her off. <laughs> Like, really, honey, after, you know, I've been with you every year and a half or so, when you get me this cheap necklace? Yeah, so by the time we made it to the beach, she had no idea. She thought that was the, she thought that's what I was. All disappointed, you know. And then, of course, when the fireworks started, I got up and and did my thing. So it's always had a special place in my heart. So returning there with a little guy is really cool. With your extended family now. And what a beautiful day it was yesterday. I was just going to ask you, how was the weather in Cape May? It was gorgeous, beautiful breeze. It was a great day to be there. First time for your uh, son to be at the beach or, you know, in, at the shore? He, he didn't like the sand too much. He stood on my leg. <laughs> on my leg. He didn't want to get... He's going to be like you with the washing the hands every five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure, like, what to think of it. And, you know, he's looking around at the sand and the people on the beach, and he was just taking it all in. It was his first experience on the beach, so... He was just kind of uh, surveying everything. He'll be in our videos soon, I'm sure, for Ace. <laughs> you know, we're gonna we're gonna need some kind of little actor soon because, you know, Michelle's getting older here, so we want to get some some of the young people up and get them in these videos, right? <laughs> um, I wanted to mention something too um, about this virus, if that's what we even call it. It seems like. Um, it really has put a stop on some events for some businesses, and, and including ourselves. I mean, I did have something big planned for our 70 years. I was real, real excited. Uh, and you know that I like to surprise uh, the owner and the general manager. I try and keep things hush-hush until we have it together, you and I. But that was something big, so, of course, we had to get them involved a little bit. And then the virus came. So, I mean, everything that I do besides market – or the events, but, you know, or I'll make it an event because to me everything's an event. I get excited about things that work. So we have the school, uh, we have training at ACE, and we have what we call manufacturer counter days. And, and just in case anybody doesn't know out there, it's, they're, they're great days, great events that we do. When we do the manufacturer events, the rep comes in, he brings in his product, you touch it, feel it, he'll explain everything to you. We feed you, you, you sometimes you, you win a gift. Or we got t-shirts. So, you know, everybody's saying, well, you know, we can't do events, we can't do events. That didn't settle with me. So, I believe this Wednesday... The 26th, I'm going to do an event online, mm-hmm. and I'm going to do it with A.O. Smith, with Carol, our rep from A.O. Smith, and we're just going to do a little 15-minute lunchbox banter. 
This way, we keep the rep in touch with the world, <laughs> like we were doing, except I'm not going to feed you food, but we're definitely going to eat lunch with you. Um, and I wanted to put that out there. Of course, we, we will have it on our Facebook page, and I'll have it on mine as well. This was the only solution I could come up with at the moment because how am I going to have an event and you're six feet away, you're six feet away, you're six feet away. I can't do it. Yeah. You know? Okay. So, so this is the way, this is going to be the way of the world for a little bit. Everything's going to be virtual. Mm-hmm. Our events will be virtual. And I think that there will be part of this experience, part of this uh, shift in communications. There, you, I love it. Shift in communication. That's really all it is, Chuck. You're right. And we've had to make a strong pivot because of the coronavirus. But I think what you're going to find is, moving forward, this will be a very real option for people versus uh, traveling around. Because let's face it, you can't be everywhere at once. It enables you to cut down on travel time a lot by doing things like that. So what I'm saying is I think this will, moving forward, it'll be a very real option. Whereas before it was like, well, yeah, we could do that, but why? Yeah, and, and yet there's nothing better than the real deal, the real touch, the real person, the real hot dog, the real this, you know what I mean, the real sump pump, the, the real water heater, um, and that person talking to you. But instead of just dying <laughs> and nobody talking to you, we'll do virtual for a while. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll do virtual. And then, of course, in, the, in my age group, some people would think, ah, we don't know. <laughs> and actually, I'm going to get it up and running. And it's, it's done, really. Um, and we're going to see how it works. It's only a 15-minute deal. Because really, when you do a counter day, you know, they're only talking to the rep for a little bit because they're on their lunch break. And they want to hear it, and they listen to it, and they get their little freebie, and then they go because they have a half-hour lunch break. So I'm going to capture them. Will you be taking questions? Because when you're live, it's something that you can offer. Like uh, oh, absolutely. Uh-huh. That's why I have Carol on there. <laughs> so if you have a question about A.O. Smith, of course, A.O. Smith is our number one water heater brand. It's the number one brand in the country. And at Ace, we have that exclusive 10-year part and tank warranty. It's an exclusive warranty to Ace Plumbing Heating and Electrical Supplies that we offer people. So you can't go wrong there. So if you have a That's question about that brand, Carol's the person to ask. Right here, look. And, and what we're going to do is this. Uh, Wednesday, when we come out with our little 15-minute lunch banter, lunchbox banter, we're going to talk about our program, our loyalty program for Ace Plumbing and Heating, which is the Contractor's Edge program. And she's going to talk about her program and how her and I tie them together. So they, they get money back from us, from Ace Plumbing, but they also get money back if they're in our loyalty program from A.O. Smith and above and beyond that. They get money back through Carol and A.O. Smith, and she's going to explain what they do to give you cash back as well. So put us together, the two bonuses, the two loyalty programs together, and you are really saving a lot of money. And you're buying copper. You're not buying plastic from the big box store. I'm not putting anything down. I'm just talking facts. You're getting copper. You're not getting plastic. Do you have a time set for this event on Wednesday? It's going to be at 12 noon. Okay. 12 noon. Um, it'll be live. It'll be on Facebook. I'm only going to stream on Facebook for the first one, and then I'll stream out on the next one to all the other channels. But we'll just stream it on Facebook. Um, and it's just going to be fun. We, uh, we're going to have fun. Everything about life. Right now, people need to feel good. They want to feel good. And, um, you know, I want to give them that reason. And I work for Ace, so Ace gives me that reason. Mm -hmm. They are the reason. I could get people to smile. I have everything they need from Ace. You know what I mean? We have everything they need to survive. Mm -hmm. Um, And also, I just uh, got this in, too, today. I figured I better get this out there, too. And I'm not sure if you're aware of it yet, but you might be since you're working in the building and I'm working off-site. <laughs> the um, showroom is by appointment only, yes. which is excellent to give the customer the undivided attention instead of walking around because, you know, we have a beautiful showroom. We have a beautiful showroom. I had to get it out loud. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It is 6,000 square feet. So, 
so by appointment only is good. And that's really just to protect the customer and to protect our employees. Um, this way you can walk with the rep six feet away. And yeah, you have to bring your mask. Yeah, when you come in, yeah, definitely the, yeah, definitely wear your mask. And it is a nice, it's a nice one-on-one experience. And you're going to get that even if you had walked in, like previously, before we set the policy of appointment only. <clears throat> you're going to get that one-on-one experience. But this way, you're guaranteed to, to talk to someone at that time period and have their attention devoted to during that time period to help you select, you know, what you what you like, what you need. Sit down with you and plan do you want to do a bathroom remodel or do you simply just want a new toilet? Do you want to do a bathroom remodel or do you simply just want a new shower faucet? Like, you know, whatever it is that you need to do, whatever your vision is for your, to, to ace your space, <laughs> like that? Love it. That was good. Zing! Whatever your vision is <laughs> to ace your space, we're going to take care of you. I say, I say it like this. If you have an idea in your head for a, a new kitchen or a bathroom and you want to ace that space, and you just have like this little vision. You're not sure how, to, what approach to use to complete it. You know what I mean? You just, you have an idea in your head. You're not sure how to flush it out. You're not sure how to plan it out. The, the showroom staff will help take you that idea, and they'll walk with you on that journey to completion. Right, and it's a consultation. There's no cost. To, you know, there's no cost to you to um, have a designer, and they are uh, trained designers. They will. They will, they will tell you how to tie it in, exactly what you were saying. Yeah. You know, there might be one item missing, you know, just to tie in whatever message, whatever picture you're trying to make in that space. Yeah, whatever design. Maybe let's say you just you have an idea, but you're not sure how to really, you know, push the, the design forward. They're going to help you complete that. They'll give you suggestions. I mean, we have so many catalogs of product. We have an enormous showroom, absolutely gorgeous and, it, you know, if you don't see something there, which is very unlikely, we have catalogs filled with products, filled with products. Yeah, if you don't see something, we have access to. If you don't see something there, you might as well go home. Because I'm going to tell you right now, there's just no way. And, and I really mean that. The, it was 6,000 square foot of a showroom of lighting, vanities, faucets. By the way, folks, by the way, touchless faucets, big selection. Huge. I know a lot of contractors buy them, but so do residential. Touchless. And you know what I like about that besides the germs? The, the, the cleanliness of your, of your faucet looking clean all the time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we all know when you're cooking that you don't cooking. want to get that. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. You cooking? How do you even spell that word? Oh, my God. You haven't been cooking anything? No. No, I haven't been doing my big meals. I got tired of cooking, Chuck. <laughs> I'm trying to get back to the job site, you know, and they're like, oh, no, you know, keep doing how you're doing it. Well, if you are, if you plan on cooking in the future and you plan on cooking something like chicken, you know, they always say, well, you want to make sure you wash your hands after touching from because of salmonella. There's your porta, there's your another porta, Ace Code porta wash when you're grilling that chicken outside. I'm sorry, yeah, God. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. You could <laughs> which are portable, which are, which are propane gas grill. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Chuck. You're going to lead me in another direction. Oh, Lord. This is ADD today with everybody, but because <laughs> I had a lot to cover. Situation. The kitchen, like cooking, right? We're going to cook that chicken. You're worried about salmonella. You don't wanna... <laughs> I know, like, I'm sure you've come across this where you're touching the raw meat and you're like, i got to wash my hands right now because i got to yes. touch that seasoning next, right? Yes. So i got to wash my hands, but now i got to turn the faucet on by hitting that handle. And yes. The chicken, raw chicken. Yes. In my hand. So with the, we have a Moen Motion Sense touch, Touchless Kitchen Faucet at Ace. You just wave your hand over it, and it turns on, so it's pretty cool. That's like what we have at work. Yep. The one we use, uh, like we actually have one uh, have that one, the employees yeah. use at work, and we don't touch it. <laughs> Absolutely. It's near. Oh, oh, you got a call there, Chuck. All right. Hello. Welcome to Acer Space. Good morning. It's Bill Gonzalez. How are you folks doing today? Hey, Mr. Gonzalez, how are you? <laughs> Good. Can you hear him? No, I, I, can, I, I can, lost him. You can't hear me? Very low. You're very low. Really? Now, now I can hear you. With that voice that projects so deep and loud, we can't even hear you, <laughs> Mr. Gonzalez. Now, is that better? Yes. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, first. 
Fantastic. Yeah, what a great day today. How are you folks doing? Today? How are you making out, Bill? What's going on with Habitat? And uh, somebody said you were doing a fun... Were you doing a fundraiser today as well? Uh, no, actually, that's next week, Saturday. I, uh, well, with Habitat, for Saturday, we are doing a, uh, our golf outing on September 14th at Running Deer. And um, if your listeners are interested in attending or participating or, or becoming a sponsor of that event, as Ace always does for us, and best sponsors, and that that constantly does so much for Habitat. But uh, they could feel free to contact us at eight five six five six three zero two nine two, and we can have all the information there for them for that golf outing on September fourteenth. Now, next weekend, the American Legion in Minnetola is having a uh, a beef sale, a roast beef sandwich sale. And that's from 11 to 3 o'clock, and there, those tickets are $10. You get two sandwiches, uh, some hot. The good old-fashioned roast beef it's sandwiches, huh, Bill? Oh, oh like it's the best. And it's going to be drive through pickup, uh, you know, for social distancing purposes. But, uh, yeah, those sandwiches are the best. <laughs> oh, good. And, and will no, Rosalie no, Baker no, be around that area? <laughs> I and bet everybody you. knows I like to eat, so... <laughs> that's okay. That's I'll, be, I'll, I'll make sure that I get a ticket. Uh, definitely we'll be doing that uh, for, to support the American Legions. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, we've been doing some great things at Habitat. We're actually getting ready to build our house. Uh, and like I said earlier, you know, one of our, you know, we've got uh, um, there are two big sponsors this year for our home. Uh, the one that we constantly always know is there for us, and that's Ace. Ace is always there, there for us. And uh, you, know, you guys provide us with a lot of great donations and uh, help us out with our families every year. So I want to say thank you and a Thank you to you Thank and you. the Newfield National Bank this year as well is, is, is partnering up with us on our homes. Uh, so I want to say thank you to Newfield National Bank as well. Um, and they, too, are the ma major sponsor of our golf outing. That's awesome. And guess what? We work for East Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical Supply, so we're thrilled. <laughs> uh, absolutely. I, you know, it's, uh, Larry has been a, uh, a great supporter of Habitats and uh, and, and a lot of other things in the community. You know, it's, it's not only Habitat that he does a lot for. Uh, he does a lot for everyone in the community. And, and, he really uh, does. And the staff and the staff does, too. Uh, and so does, uh, you know, and, and, and the management. And i got to say, it's a, it's a great relationship we have. Uh, you know, he, he, he does do quite a bit. And I just want to say thank you to him personally and, and to all the staff at Ace and you folks there. And I don't know if anybody knows this, but Michelle's on our board, too, now. I don't know if they know. I, oh, I'm honored to be on the board. I haven't done much yet because I'm a newbie. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's, it's been tough. You know, with the social distancing, it's been a little different. Um, and we're going to be. Your, I'm going to be trained on the 26th, which is our 28th hour of Ace Your Space. But I'll be in training. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing the board retreat that day. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and I'll be calling you to speak. I just spoke to uh, Mr. Sparator about that, and he does want me to ask you something, so I'll be calling you this week. Awesome. So, Thanks once God. again, next week is your American Legions? Next week, uh, 11 to 3, at the uh, American Legion on Central Avenue in Minnetola, uh, almost across, almost by the, uh, by the park there. Uh, yep. Across the street, okay. the white building on the right-hand side, next to the old Minnetola Bank on the corner. Um, that's $10 a ticket. And then on uh, September 14th is our uh, the Habitat for Humanity golf outing, uh, and that um, and that'll be uh, starting at noon time as well. We'll have lunch there. Uh, it'll be a box lunch. We'll have a then we'll have a, uh, a some dinner at the end of the night, and um, you know hopefully have a great day at golf and some great weather and enjoy everyone's uh, company. Now, Bill, do you have to have tickets in advance for the American Legion lunch, or can you buy it there? I I. I would say that you should probably always try to have tickets in advance because they do sell out. Um, but if you don't, get there, you know, uh, within the first hour, hour and a half of the event mm -hmm. opening up. And, uh, you know, you, you, you should have a good opportunity to get tickets there at the door as okay. well. Sounds good. Sounds good. Awesome. Thank Sounds you. Sounds real good. For, uh, yeah, sure. Does. Give me a few minutes on the air. I greatly appreciate it. And, and uh, you know, Bill, I just want to mention uh, Habitat about the restore. There's a lot of people that are home right now. Um, some people are actually not working from home. They're home. And saying that, you have some great 
items in that store that I, I've seen people take them out and they just they make projects out of them. It's phenomenal what you yeah, have in that store. Blessed. Thank you, thank you so much. We've been blessed with uh, with the restore and being able to provide that service for the community as well. Um, the restore, uh, for those that don't know, is a uh, we accept uh, gently used uh, items, uh, either um, household goods, furniture, um, construction tools, just about anything you can think of. And sometimes and, brand uh, new, Bill. I have two bureaus absolutely. that were brand new from there I before I even that. came on, on the board of directors. I bought them brand new. Yeah, so what we do is we resell those items. We try, you know, we clean them up and we and we resell it. And uh, when we resell it, that, those proceeds, 100% of those proceeds goes towards building our homes for our families. Uh, so it's a great, great way to not only keep items out of the uh, out of our landfill and recycle, mm -hmm. but also be able to give to the community and allow someone an opportunity to get something that's in good shape that they would not normally have had the opportunity to go out and purchase new. Uh, but be able to come out and, and buy it, something that's gently used that they could keep in their home uh, and extremely affordable. Bill, yeah. do you have any homes in the works right now? We, we, yeah, we don't. Um, we are getting ready to announce. Uh, this week, uh, I, I'm hopeful we're going to be able to announce our, our new family. Yay! Um, and um, once that's done, we're going to announce groundbreaking as well. Uh, we're going to be building in the city of Millville on Garfield Avenue in Millville. Um, so I would suspect that that's, the groundbreaking is going to be somewhere around the same time as the golf course, maybe that weekend uh, before the golf tournament. Uh, but it's going to be, uh, but we should start construction in the month of September. Um, the family's pretty much selected. We just haven't uh, communicated with them yet, and that happened late last night. <laughs> I saw that. You're right. Yeah. So, thank you to our family selection committee and to the uh, to the uh, to the executive board uh, and the board of directors for uh, you know uh, during this pandemic and hard times. You guys are all volunteers too, and people don't know that. And you know, you give a lot of your time. And last night was one of those uh, one of those times where where um, you know up until the wee hours of the night, I was getting emails from I'm sure you board were <laughs> to, to discuss to discuss the uh, the selection and. Uh, you know, the decision was made, and, um, you know, I'm looking forward to, uh, to calling this family after I get off the phone with you and advise them that they were selected. So <laughs> That's <laughs> great, and who that. knows, maybe uh, next month we uh, will be able to announce that family on the show. I mean, I'm sure it will hit the newspaper by then, but still, just to follow up, we can make the announcement for the family. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Bill. Anytime. Thank you. And, and again... Thank you to, uh, to, to all the folks at ACE for the great things that you do for the community and for Habitat for Humanity, and we certainly do appreciate you. Uh, and we're glad that you're our partner right next door at 601 South Elsie Drive because we love you. Thank you so much. And I'll see you soon for sure. All right. Take care. Have a great Thanks day. Thanks so much. Take care, Bill. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm, uh, what all that was, huh? That was awesome, and I absolutely love the Habitat story. I love how they help people, you know, we have a, we have a, a working, um, a working poor class in this country. Yeah. And, um, and it help, really helps them to have a roof over their head. And uh, it's just, it's a beautiful human story, I think. It's not... And they work, you know, I'm, I'm brand new on the board of directors with them this year. So um, I've actually only been uh, to two meetings in person, and the rest of the meetings have been, you know, virtual. Mm -hmm. So I'm still new. But the passion that I hear, even from the board of directors, the passion, uh, they want to get the right family. They want to make sure the money's going to the right area. It, it's phenomenal, and, and Bill does a great job with that. And I'm not just saying that. Um, it's the truth. I wouldn't know that unless I was a part of it. Well, it's a big decision. There's a lot of, there are a lot of families in need in Cumberland County, and it's a big decision to make. There are a lot of factors that come into play there. And uh, from what I've seen and, and just the joy that people have, you know, I've, I've seen those videos. And, of course, former President Jimmy Carter is very involved in, in the Habitat for Humanity com in the organization. Right. And, and we are, too. <laughs> Ace is, too. And he, uh, Ace does, you know, Ace is very humble. So I get proud of Ace, but, you know, they, 
I'm proud to be involved with ACE, to work for ACE. Maybe that's the feeling. Because I do know what, not everything, but I do know some things that Larry does for the community. Of course, I don't know everything. And, you know, what I know, they're very humble. So it's not like I'm allowed to brag about it, but I do. Because I'm kind of honored. And, and, and I am proud to work for them. Um, Larry is a very good-hearted human being. He does a lot. And, and I know firsthand because... I do. I'll design the ads. Like, let's say he takes that's out true. In, a, in a school program or uh, an ad in a like an American Legion, some kind of a, a program booklet, right? Where we're going to have a presence, like an ad. And I will do those things, and I do a lot of them sometimes. So Larry is a very giving boss. It's, it's, it's tremendous. And see, that's only a piece. Like you only know them. I only know the few of this, you know what I'm saying? But it's the whole world. He takes care of the whole community, let's face it. <laughs> right? He does. He's, he's um, and, and Habitat is right next door to us, so it is a great relationship. Um, I know some people come out of our doors and go into their doors. <laughs> or they come out of their doors and come into ours. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a great relationship. We had a great uh, a party, block party with them last year, right uh, around this time, too. That was cool. Remember that? That was great. Uh, Bill and I do some great videos together. We want to, we can't, we, we actually, I think we should do another one. You know, Habitat and Ace, uh, when we do the videos together, we get a lot of looks at those videos, and I like that because it exposes both. It exposes Habitat and exposes Ace, and it's fun. Yeah, we had Mr. Taco there. We're rocking and rolling. Mr. Taco. <laughs> he, he had some good tacos. <laughs> Mr. Taco, I don't know if he's, uh, the truck's still around. Oh, really? Yeah, I haven't. Um, I, of course, I haven't been out, Chuck, you know, with the virus. It's not like I've been cruising around. But I would see his truck around because he's a food truck. Actually, when you think about it, the food truck business should be pretty good today. That's what I told a friend of mine. I said, get your truck ready because, you know, food's always essential. Takeout's in. Bloop, there yeah. you go. If I did that for a living, I would be pretty much making house calls and I don't know, <laughs> right? There's You'd have to have a gym hooked to your food truck because it can't, you can't have both. Like, you know what I mean? You'd have to have that gym there, especially now with the little one. I mean, yeah, but I mean, the food truck's the way, I'll tell you, we probably have an East food truck before you know it. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, we probably will keep it right there. Hey, you know, it's funny. Years ago, I, I toyed with the notion of being a chef. This is before I got my, my degree in uh, media arts and I, because uh, the Art Institute where I went, they offered culinary arts. Oh. And um, I had a lot of classes in the culinary art building, which was uh, 23rd Mark in Philly. And, um, you know, I, I witnessed some of those culinary students. Um, Are you a good cook? Being an, I am, yeah. I think I am. But back in, but I would, I would do a lot of healthy stuff, like more on the healthy side, so I'd make turkey burgers and smoothies. Yes. Um, it'd be so cool just to have a place that offered those options. And, and we're not talking about stuff that doesn't taste good. Because Boy, great minds not. work alike. So doing, like, just having a healthy option where you're not hammering people with a huge cost because some healthy options are very expensive. They are. They they really are. And yeah, make it affordable so people are eating better in an affordable way. And maybe everything towards the immune system. Yeah, so I, I thought about that years ago, you know, and, and having a place in violence somewhere that did that. So it's kind of funny that you mentioned that. <laughs> it's... Um, it's well. It's it's funny too because I always said, well, you know, if, if people would just smell smell sell smoothies, they they'd probably do well. But I do think that there was. I do believe in our area there may have been a couple of smoothie shops. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Now whether they're still kicking, like I said, I don't know. I haven't been around. Yeah. Um, but I think the food truck is the way to go. Like you said, get the food truck, park it. Yeah. People know that you're going every day. Yeah. Um, I wanted to get us. Distance uh, when you when you order, you know, when you're out there in line. They even make the vending machines with the um, healthy drinks. I wanted one of those at one time. Mm -hmm. Or like to pick your food out of the vending machine instead of the uh, potato chips, you know. And I think it's important right now in, the, in our area and really all areas that you support restaurants and, and order takeout. And of course, we can't be inside anywhere. Or everybody locally uh, is a great thing and, and order takeout and go wear your mask and go pick it up. I'm you know, not. try and do it. You're right, Chuck, because really at the end of the day, support the local restaurant that has the good food because the fast food is all you're going to have left, and there's nothing wrong with fast food if you like it. That's all you're going to have left if we don't support yeah. our local, local restaurant well, businesses. Supporting small business, that's what Ace is. That's what, I mean, I have a side business that's small. 
You have the side business that's small and small. Restaurants, the local mom-and-pop restaurants, it's all about supporting small business in the area. It keeps the money here. Too. keeps the money right here instead of shipping it out someplace else like in Philly. Not that I don't love Philly. I'm teasing you. <laughs> but like we said, dining out has a whole new... Has a whole new. Um, literally, it means dining out, and that's where the porta wash comes in. The the, the portable sinks, you know, like um, dining out at your house. I mean, your picnic that you're going to have that birthday party. Um, you know, this, this is where. And, I, and I'll tell you the truth: we probably will see some more sanitation on the outside. Um, and I think we're going to see a lot of the outsides being built to almost where it looks like you're inside without calling in an inside. Yeah, because you have the airflow, you have more more space between people. Have you done it? Have you um, done the outdoor dining? Well, the close I, I came really close to that yesterday. It was the closest I came to it. I went to Cape May, and we got drinks somewhere, and we were outside, and there were and actually I walked through an area where people were seated, and it was like they took the restaurant and they put it outside. Kind of neat. Cape May, there's so many beautiful places to eat. I love it. And um, but everyone that could and had a little bit of property to do so, they had their whole establishment outside. That's what's a shame. I've seen, um, you know, some restaurants, and as you go by, now that you, now that you know that people are eating outside, and you'll go by, and I'm not going to mention any names, some of our favorite ones, too, you know, you go, yeah. look, they really don't have the room. You know, like you say it, because you see it, and you're like, they really don't, you know, and then other ones... You know, they have a ton of room. So I, I do feel um, the people that, the restaurants that don't have the room, if you could just do the takeout, you know, I mean, it's really good food. <laughs> you know, it's better than you cooking yourself. Treat yourself to a good steak um, and bring it home. Yeah. Bring it home. It's going to help them stay open and, and, and weather this storm. And it's going to help you have them there for you when the storm gets over. Exactly. Instead of going to our fast foods, which, like I said, I'm not putting the fast food down. But I don't want the Beyond Burger for the rest of my life, you know, because <laughs> it's Beyond. I don't know what, you know. What I, mean? I haven't tried the Beyond Burger yet, but <laughs> I haven't either. I haven't. I haven't touched the. Uh, uh, what is it? The Impossible. Uh, or the Impossible? Maybe that's the Impossible. I figured it was impossibly for me to like it, so no sense of trying it. There's just as many chemicals thing. in that. Well, yeah. In, in a sense, right? It might be a next S factor. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Ooh, you know what? When does the S factor come on, Chuck? The next S factor now normally would be uh, next. Really, I should be on next Saturday, but we have an extra Saturday this month in August. Because you're the first Saturday of the month, aren't you? Saturday. So it's on August first of this month. And the first um, my show airs at one o'clock, the first Saturday of every month. We're here on Cruise ninety two point one WVLT. The last show I had, the latest show, was August 1st. My next show is in two weeks, two weeks from today, September 5th. I can't believe it. Really September 5th. I wrote it down. September 5th. It really flies by. I can't believe. I, I now, I don't want you to get famous and start signing autographs because I still need you for our show for Ace. And remember, Chuck, this is where it all started for you. <laughs> I need you to stay grounded. <laughs> that is actually true. I was telling uh, Grace that uh, recently. I said it's funny because when I was growing up, I remember this is probably back in 1987, I remember listening to a local radio station. I can't remember which one it was, but I would have a tape deck. Yeah. You could record the radio on your tape, and I thought that was the coolest thing, right? So since I could record music, and I would record myself doing ads... Oh, my gosh. And I did an ad for a, a store on the Avenue. I, and remember, I was eight years old, I think. When I yeah, did. yeah, you were a commercial for Dandies. Remember Dandies? Kind of. Wow, I can't be, kind. I think I do, yes. Well, I did a commercial for them. I was eight years old. You're talking 33 years ago. Yeah, well, they didn't know I did the commercial for them. I was just having fun. But I, So I, I always loved broadcasting. I guess I kind of forgot about that. So we started Acer Space. Until, until Michelle came along. Yeah. A chatter check, I mean, until that girl came in. And it's funny because my, my media arts degree, my bachelor's degree in this, covers audio, uh, obviously, because I deal with video. So. Right. But it's, it's kind of, um, it opened my eyes to, oh, that's right, I do love this stuff. You know, I'm very blessed. Um, I, I've got to say this because I listen to a lot of people they, who have, they have a, a degree in communications or, you know, a degree in this and a degree in that. 
And I'm very lucky because I just, um, I don't have that degree, but my experience is my degree. Do you know what I mean? My experience is my degree. So I'm fortunate that I'm able to, um, say, do a radio show, or uh, people will ask me to do, um, they want to use my voice for something. I'm very fortunate that way. Through you, I've learned a lot. You know, I mean, uh, I'm 58 and you're 41. This is your, this is your thing. This is your passion. So because, and my passion is to create and get it out there. I can't get it out there. You know what I mean? So together, uh, I've learned so much from you, Chuck. And then together, um, one wheel can't go without the other for the, for Ace Your Space. No, that's right. That's a great. I love it. I can't believe the hour that we're on right now. Like, We've been doing this since June of 18. i got to thank you now. Let's go through our thank yous. I do want to thank Carl for mentioning it to me for the first, I mean, since I've been an ace. Uh, Carl and I have talked in the past, and I just would never do anything. I just wouldn't pull the plug. Then I get to ace, and I feel the support. You know, I feel support from ace. Then with you, perfect. It was just perfect timing, you know. And we tried it, and, and we liked it, you and I. were like, yeah, you know, this is really good. And, and they get results at the end of the day. They get results. We enjoy doing it. They get results. So we do want to thank Mr. Larry Berman, and we want to thank John Sparator for actually letting us do this, for believing in us to uh, put this out there for them. Mm-hmm, absolutely. And, of course, I want to thank Mr. Chuck Shazer. And, more importantly than any of all of us, I want to thank all our listeners because we have a wide range of listeners, a wide range. I get a lot of contacts after our show. Yeah, well, Cruise 92.1 WVLT is a wide reach. You know, some people think, oh, it's just a violent station. No, it, it goes what, beyond violent quite a way. So. Oh, it goes right into Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. I want to say hello to, I have people that are listening, I know it. Let me just get a shout out there to Lenny, Pearl, Marie, Marie, Marshall. How's that? Okay. They're my five listeners. I'm joking. <laughs> we have a lot of listeners. I just, they're, they're, they're like a little support group. So that they're family and friends. So I have to say hello to everybody like that. Nope. Mr. Larry Leonelli's always supported me, you know, with our show too. So nice little plugs out there for our little businesses. Mm-hmm. And um, what's up next, Mr. Shays? I'm, I'm, I'm hearing... Uh, I am hearing about the propane tanks at Ace are not just for my grill. Yes. Well, sixteen ninety nine. By the way, sixteen ninety nine. People don't know we have it. And right from there, I'm going to shut my mouth up because I heard we could do something else with those propane tanks. Well, yes, you certainly can. And of course, we are in hurricane <laughs> season again. Hurricane season. Now, listen to this. According to NOAA.gov, an above-normal 2020 Atlantic hurricane season is, is expected. According to the forecasters with NOAA's Climate Prediction Center, a division of the National Weather Service, the outlook predicts a 60% chance of an above-normal season, a 30% chance of a near-normal season, and only a 10% chance of a below-normal season. The Atlantic hurricane season runs through June 1st through November 30th, so we're Right in the thick of that still. So why is that significant to this conversation? Because we sell Generac generators. And, Michelle, you just mentioned if you have a propane grill and you have a propane tank at home, which a lot of people do, I certainly do, we have a Generac generator that will run on your grill propane tank. You don't have to worry about gas. You don't have to go get your five gallons. How long does your five gallons Gas lasts anyway, not for nothing. You don't have to worry about having gasoline on hand. You have this. You have your standard propane gas grill tank. This Generac will run off of that. And I saw this machine, Michelle. And I saw this, and it's portable, by the way. It's it's small. And 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 guess what? It's under eight hundred dollars. I checked today. It is under eight hundred dollars. Yep. Under eight hundred dollars. It's like unbelievable. So you could so you can unhook your grill. Uh huh. God forbid in a storm, right? Yep. And go hook it and, and maybe my refrigerator's coming on. Absolutely. From that storm. It's a great little portable generator. It's called the Generac L P three two five zero. It's thirty two hundred fifty watt portable liquid propane. 
generator requires no gasoline, of course, quickly connects to any standard size LP tank, any standard propane tank. And deliverable power solution for your house. I'm going to mention this too. Any listener that calls ACE today by 2 o'clock, John doesn't even know I'm doing this. I'm going to get shot. You ready? <laughs> Anybody that calls Mr. John Sparator today for a portable Generac will also get a gift card to ACE. Whoa. That'll be John's discretion. Give John Sparator a call at 692-9374 to get your portable Generac because there's only a couple left on that shelf right there. As soon as you walk in the door, it's right there. It's way under $800, by the way. Yeah, quantities are seriously limited on this generator. Because all you need, and, and, and also, you get your tank for sixteen ninety nine. People don't realize that we sell propane sixteen ninety nine, just like everybody else. But we're available. We're right there. You don't have to go in the little store, you know, to sell cigarettes and all that and wait in line. You just come right in, call. We'll get it ready for you. Yeah, the propane exchange is sixteen ninety nine. Actually, I just did it this past Thursday. I brought mine in. Uh, I took lunch and. Came home and got my, my propane tank and brought it in to Ace and exchanged it. That's a shame. I have one here filled three years. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, is it any good? I don't even know. It's in my shed. It should be okay. As long Jesus, as... three years sitting there. Is that cap still on it? Do you know this? The cap's still on it. Maybe I have to go get the generator because I got the propane tank. You got the tank? Well, you're halfway there. I'm half. I'm going to set up a whole room outside now with my generator. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing. You know, you could do a lot with that generator outside. I just... I can't imagine. Like, just say you're not even going to use it for a storm. Yeah. Can I use that generator for my food truck, my ACE food truck, or is that yeah. too small? Totally could. Ah, that's it. I got to talk to JS. We got to have the ACE food <laughs> truck. And we need it because we got to, you know, we can't have the counter days, but these contractors are still looking for their food. Mm-hmm. So we could have the contractor ACE food truck right there. It's definitely essential because it's food. So after you buy your piping that you need, up over for your hot dog. It's two dollars and fifty cents special today. <laughs> so all, all mobile. Uh, no more marketing for Michelle. She's running the the Ace Food Truck. <laughs> your chef's hat. I and I had the chef's hat when I first started there. It, that should have been the warning that I was going to be in charge of the food truck four years later. <laughs> My first counter event, I wore a paper chef's hat because you know I got got into it. You know what I mean. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, my first event, I was like five years old. Oh, let me go get all my props. And I was sweating so bad because it was like 90 degrees um, that it tore. It tore up top because it was paper. But that was the first sign that Ace was going to get a food truck. See? Yeah, I better talk to John. Yeah, I would. Uh. I wish John, you know, I said to him, you think he'll be available to give us a call and let us know how things are going, you know, in the world of essentials. And he said, I'll try, Michelle, but we're really, really busy. Um, yeah, John, have. JS, if you hear us, 696-0092, you have about two minutes to call. That's about it before Norm starts cutting us off. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. It's, you really can't beat these Generac generators that we sell. And, again, that, that propane one, that LP generator, the portable one we just mentioned, and those quantities are very limited. I was just at, at Ace, of course, on Thursday. And they are limited. They're getting more limited with every passing day. I, I called today, and I know there's only a few there because I knew that uh, this should uh, this message of the portable, affordable, portable. <laughs> there you go, affordable, yeah, portable. There you go, Generac should pay. Whoa. There you go. You better coin that term. <laughs> well, write it down for you know we get a website on that one. <laughs> Wait a minute. You know what? I mean. <laughs> affordable, portable. I love it. Yeah. Right. I am writing it down. Just like the Ace Marketplace, too. We're going to have an Ace Marketplace soon, so we have to. Portable, portable. Then... Portable, portable. That is it. That's for all of it. That's your port wash That's everything. Everything we have, portable, portable. It is <laughs> but <fantastic>. especially that. <laughs> and, again, this is, you know, the weather forecast, the hurricane season. This is from NOAA. This is from the government. It's coming back right now. I mean, the rain's coming back this week. Yeah, it's going to be a heck of a hurricane season here. Um We did lose electric. Um, I just want you to know, I went from my very first stress test where you get on the treadmill, very first time in life, right? Mm -hmm. And that is the day that the electric went out. I had just finished my test. In fact, in fact, they sped me up a little too fast. I'm like, yo, my legs can't keep up. Honest to God. My legs and my legs can't keep up. And I think they were doing that to get me off. 
get get, get the heart rate up and get her off because the lights, and it did. The lights went out within a minute when I was done. Oh, wow. So, you know, and then their generator kicked in, of course. But so we have those storms coming back is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there are a couple, there are a couple of those portables there. Um, you only need the propane to do it. It's real easy. And if they call today by 2 o'clock and talk to John Sparator and let them know that you heard about it from Chuck and Michelle on 92.1, you're going to get something special. You're going to get it under $800, but then John Sparator is going to give you something special from Ace. Mm-hmm. And if that's if they call Ace by 2 p.m. today. By 2 p.m. today. One minute. There you go. We only have one minute. Let's let everybody know that our next show is going to be September 26th. Wow. September 26th. That's our uh, 28th. Hour. It will be the 28th, yeah, wow. Incredible. Our 28th hour. Wow, it's unbelievable, isn't it, Chuck? It absolutely is. I can't believe it. I, it. It amazes me how fast time flies. Everybody tells me I have a son now. Oh, spend as much time as you can with him because the time goes fast, and I listen to them. <laughs> I'm glad I did because it does fly by. I mean, the show is going to be... Uh, it shows over two years old now. The show's over two years old now. I want to thank every all our listeners who do listen to Astro Space. It is once a month, every fourth Saturday of the month. It is sponsored by East Plumbing Heating and Electrical Supplies, 667 South Delsey Drive, right in Violin, New Jersey, right in your backyard. They have all your sanitation solutions Simple. They make it simple for you. Go get go get your your uh, go get everything. Go get your K9 mask. Mm-hmm. Go get your portable Generac under eight hundred dollars. You better go get that soon. <laughs> uh, what else, Chuck? Because we just love Ace. Yeah, and if you're just getting if you're just getting tired of your kitchen or your bathroom and you want to ace your space, check out Ace Plumbing, Heating, Electrical Supplies. Amazing showroom at 667 South Elsie Drive in Violence. And make sure you call Mr. John Sparator and bother him for me. 856-692-9374. This is Michelle Chatterchick Lowe from Ace Plumbing Heating and Electrical Supplies saying thank you and God bless you. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye now. Hi, folks. This is Michelle Chatterchick Lowe from Ace Plumbing Heating and Electrical Supplies. Join me and my co host, Chuck Shazer, from 11 a.m. to 12 noon and every fourth Saturday of the month while we try to ace your space. We're going to share with you some helpful hints that will improve the quality of any room or project that you are currently working on. Also, we're going to have just a little bit of fun. Join me for Ace Your Space, coming to you from Ace Plumbing, Heating, and Electrical Supplies.